<laughs> hey guys, check out my new custom license plate. Isn't this the best combo ever on the back of a car? So this charger is for the Porsche and this one is for the Tesla. This is charging the Tesla at 32 amps at 240 volts. But this power is not coming from the grid. The charger is connected to a 240 volt receptacle and that receptacle is connected with this cable to this panel and it has its own 50 amp breaker. And I'm powering this panel with my off-grid solar power system. We have two inverter chargers that are connected in parallel so we have a split phase output or they create 240 volts. And these inverter chargers have their own MPPT so they can handle upwards of 16,000 watts and their combined output is 13,000 watts. And I have another video talking more about this system and how I installed it. But this week I actually beefed up this system so it can handle these large loads. Previously I sized the conductors and the circuit breakers for the max output from the inverters, but I realized that these can handle more in than they can handle out. So imagine if I have 16,000 watts going into this battery. Also I use circuit breakers for the inverters, which typically can work fine if you have a small battery bank but because the battery bank is so big I'm instead using class T fuses and I tried to organize it as best as I could but both of these inverters needed to have equal length conductors and I wanted them to feed the bus bar with the same size conductor as well here's the positive two class T fuses bus bar and then these two cables go out to the two battery banks and each battery bank can supply 150 amps each and each class T fuse is rated for 300 amps and then we have the negative that go down to a Victron shunt and this can handle 500 amps. And this conductor goes to one battery bank and this conductor goes to a bus bar that goes to a few batteries. And half of the capacity is in that battery and the other half of the capacity is in these batteries. Also previously it was a floating system but I wanted to have an AC input to dissipate excess charge over time that could possibly accumulate. So I installed this plug to the AC input and it has a grounding conductor and the grounding conductor is bonded from the AC input to the AC output. So that means that that panel and everything else here is connected to a true earth ground. If I don't want that, I can unplug it and then it's a floating system. And I also programmed it so that it doesn't pull any power from the grid. I do not want any power from the grid ever. And yeah, this is only for grounding purposes. And this entire system is charged with solar panels. And these are the MC4 adapters that go outside and connect to the solar panels. And we have one, two, three and four solar arrays connected to the system. And this is the solar array. So we have 10,000 watts of solar on my backyard's driveway. It produces 55,000 watt hours every single day, which gives me about 220 miles with my Tesla Model 3. But typically I drive under 100 miles. So the rest of the power goes to my air conditioner. And this solar array is not connected to a structure and I did not have to drill any deep holes. So that means that this did not require a permit at all. Now I run the cables on the side here under Underneath the garage door and those solar panels charge up my batteries right now we have 43.6 kilowatt hours and unfortunately I can't show you these batteries because these have not been released yet but I'm gonna make videos on all these batteries very soon and right now the battery is 100% depleted because I charged up my Tesla all night long and usually I only charge every other day this ensures that these batteries are fully charged and if I charge when the Sun's out I get added efficiency because I don't have to go through the battery and then back Back out again. The power comes in from the solar panels and goes straight to the Tesla. And the reason I built this system is first I don't want to spend any more money and I don't want to be attached to the government in any way I can help it and I want to show that it's possible to build your own system that can mine Bitcoin and run a Tesla. There are so many whiny babies on the internet complaining all day long about how electric cars are charged with coal or other fossil fuels and I think these people should stop crying and start building. Sitting around all day on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and crying to people saying the electric cars don't make sense because they're powered by coal is just silly. And it's fun to build. Like, look at all this cool stuff. This is still considered low voltage, so that's nice. And you don't have to handle high voltage over here. You just plug them into the MC4 connectors. But it might be wise to have a professional install the panel and do the AC output on these inverters. But yeah, check it out. I finally did it. We are charging the Tesla 
every single day off grid. If I lived in a very cold place with cloudy conditions, I probably wouldn't be able to do this. But because I live in Las Vegas and we have sunshine nearly every day, except for today, it was a bit cloudy. Um, but I had a bunch of power stored up in this and I didn't have to charge my Tesla until now. So uh, yeah, I have all this power that I can use from the past two days. So yeah, I just wanted to share the upgrades and yeah, this can continuously run all day long. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video and I will talk to you later, bye.